So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? <laughs> but Sergeant, we need her help. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt <laughs> yeah, bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Fine. <laughs> then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Okay. Okay, people. Chill. Put this on. Let me guess. You must be Ben, right? Get up now. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. Is this the guy? Ben, you told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? <laughs> I have it right here, officer. <laughs> but I'm not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. <laughs> Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're going to have to leave with me. So, but do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer entrance, but it won't be easy. All right, I'm going. Hey, don't let me tell. Sorry. I thought you were another one of those zombies. <laughs> are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother. <laughs> it makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. <laughs> that's the mayor's daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed. Miserably. Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, 
I'd really like to be alone now. Oh god. Masu ni stereo. Wait. Let me go. Easy, easy there. I'm not a zombie. You're safe now. <laughs> Leon, come in. I found the girl, and I've cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant. Mm. Near the city limits. The chemical plant? Then, what are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. Mm. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. So but it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about. <laughs> it's here. <laughs> Sherry, wait. Hey, Foster. Jill. Oh, Carlos. Hey, the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Jill. Huh? What's wrong? They're coming. <laughs> they must have sniffed us out. They know we're here. Can't get the car. Hey, calm down. Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Night to night, Nana. Boo! Hero! I don't know what to do. Hey, Nero. I'm not at the night yet. Relax. I'm not <laughs> dead yet. Are you okay? So no assault rifle are there, but even though that hero stuff is harder than it looks. This is Delorean, isn't it? Bio two, they can get out of Delorean. Ouch, my ears are ringing. We both should be deaf by now. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Sherry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No, I won't. What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters. I have to help him. Wait, Sherry. 